massive improvements to Edmonds water and wastewater systems are underway in an effort to meet increasing regulations and the needs of our growing community. These types of developments are extremely costly and require careful planning. In recent years, many cities in Oklahoma have faced tough decisions about sustaining the water supply for their future. Right now, Edmond is taking a proactive approach by investing significantly in its infrastructure so that safe and abundant drinking water is available for many years to come for all residents. Even though you may not physically see some of these large projects, you are definitely impacted by them every day when you turn on a water faucet, wash clothing, or take a bath. Most projects are under construction currently, but there are a couple that just wrapped up. One is a new administration building that houses state-of-the-art testing laboratories and has office space for water and wastewater management staff. The administration building was also designed to accommodate tours and raise public awareness about water conservation and the overall operations of water resources. Another completed project is a Northwest Water Tower at Coffee Creek and Broadway. The two million gallon tower has improved water pressure consistency for area residents and has enhanced the water system as a whole. A similar water tower will soon be constructed near Danforth Road and Thomas Drive. This water tower will replace the existing Danforth Tower and the water tower near UCO. Its expected completion date is the end of 2019. Edmond has a diverse topography with hills and valleys. Therefore, it's not always feasible to rely on gravity to drain wastewater to the city's water resource recovery facility. Lift stations are necessary to pump wastewater to a higher elevation and direct it to the treatment plant. Lift stations are expensive to build, operate, and maintain. Currently, two lift station sites are undergoing major improvements. The Chisholm Creek lift station is being completely rehabilitated. Improvements include the replacement of wastewater pumps and piping, as well as the construction of a new electrical building. A new Spring Creek lift station is nearly complete and expected to be online in the fall of 2018. It is capable of pumping 12 million gallons of wastewater per day, which is double the amount of the 40-year-old lift station it is replacing. Other projects include replacing wastewater lines that are over 40 years old. This project will increase capacity and avoid sanitary sewer overflows. There is also a need to enlarge the size of several major water lines traversing the city. Much of that work will be along Danforth Road and along 33rd Street. One substantial project is the expansion of the Water Resource Recovery Facility. Currently, this facility can treat up to 7.5 million gallons of wastewater a day. Once renovations are complete, it will be capable of treating 4.5 million more gallons, bringing the total to 12 million per day. The facility will also comply with new rules made by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This project is expected to be complete by the end of 2020. The largest project by far will take place at the city's water treatment plant. The goal is to triple the capacity of the current facility, allowing for an additional 20 million gallons of water to be treated per day. The current water treatment plant was built in 1986 when Edmond had only 45,000 residents. Now, over 30 years later, Edmond's population is nearing 100,000. To meet the higher water demands, most of the current facility will be replaced with a new treatment plant. This long construction process will be done in three phases over a period of three years. The first phase involves a new treatment plant on the east side of the current plant and ancillary facilities on the west side. During the second phase, a new intake structure at Arcadia Lake and pump station will be built that can draw more water and transport it to the treatment plant. The third phase consists of installing a large transmission line from the plant to I-35, and a new pump station is needed to push the water out to the water distribution system. Funding for all these projects comes from user rate increases and issuing long-term debt. The long-term financing allows a better phased approach to rate increases and ensures that customers that move to Edmond in the future are contributing to the infrastructure being built today. Now that you know, here we grow!